Here's a brief introduction to the naming of aromatic compound. We'll start with the easy ones. Substituents on benzene get prepended in front of the name benzene. So here we have bromobenzene, nitrobenzene and propylbenzene. A few derivatives have common names which, we need, which need to be learnt, uh, partly because they'll form the base name if more substitutions are added. Here are some examples. Phenol, which otherwise would have been hydroxybenzene, aniline, which would have been aminobenzene, toluene, methylbenzene, and the last two, benzaldehyde and benzoic acid. Now let's look at the case of doubly substituted benzene. First, you find your reference carbon, the one with the highest priority functional group attached. So here that's denoted with the X. There's a link in the description which goes through these priorities in detail to find this highest priority functional group. Groups of the highest priority include carboxylic acids, aldehydes, ketones, alcohols and amines. So many of the common names on the previous slide can be used as our starting name without needing to number anything with a 1. Once we know where our reference carbon is, we're going to count around the ring, starting with a 1 on the reference, you can see that here, and going in the direction that minimizes the number of the other substituent. So it will either be a 2, a 3, or a 4. These relationships are given special names that make them easy to visualize. The ortho position is labeled here as the number 2, meta, number 3, and para. Uh, these are abbreviated O, M and P. So we end up with a range of names for some of our di-substituted benzenes. Here we could have ortho dibromobenzene or in brief O dibromobenzene. Or if we go with this numbering system this will be the first carbon and the second, so it'll be a 1,2-dibromobenzene. Over here, one of our groups is higher priority, so this is a phenol. This means we start with our number 1 here and go. we go clockwise again to get to the closest chlorine, which is 1,2 along. So this then is either metachlorophenol, m-chlorophenol, or 3-chlorophenol, because the 3 position is where the chloro is attached. Our third example here uh, again starts with the highest priority group because we have an, a benzaldehyde, an aldehyde attached to the benzene, and so if we start with our numbering 1 here it doesn't matter which way we go around because ultimately the nitro group will be on 1, 2, 3, the third carbon. Uh, so this ends up being called para nitrobenzaldehyde, p nitro benzaldehyde or 4 nitrobenzaldehyde. When we have three or more substituents we continue the process but need to stick with the numerical IUPAC system. Again start with the highest priority group and count in the direction which minimizes the number for the nearest substituent or if that's equal then minimize the one after that. Break any overall ties by making the second highest priority functional group number the smallest. So here we have 1, 2, 4 tribromobenzene. Here there's a clear priority group, the phenol, so we, we need to start on number 1 here. And going in either direction, this will be called 2, 4, 6 trichlorophenol. Finally, our third example also has a high priority group, the aldehyde, and so we now are starting on this carbon as number one. Here we have a choice of directions, but we're going to go to the higher of these two fairly low priority groups. We'll go to the chloro first, so that is one, two, three chloro for five nitrobenzaldehyde. Uh, if the nitro had been closer, say on this substituent, then we would go first to that because it is the closest and that would minimize the number of the closest group. 
Some other names for common aromatic groups you'll come across are shown here. Pyridine is like benzene, but with a nitrogen replacing one of the CH positions. The next group here are all five-membered rings, but are aromatic according to the criteria we will learn this week. Note that the p orbitals of these atoms on the top all participate in pi bonding with these double bond pi electrons. And so the total number of pi electrons in all of these systems satisfies the 4n plus 2 rule. The last three here are when benzene rings are joined in one continuous aromatic system. Their common names are naphthalene, anthracene and phenanthine. Thank you very much. See you next week.